the Tsiolkovsky rocket equation, classical rocket equation, or ideal rocket equation is a mathematical equation that describes the motion of vehicles that follow the basic principle of a rocket, a device that can apply acceleration to itself using thrust by expelling part of its mass with high velocity can thereby move due to the conservation of momentum. The equation relates the delta v, the maximum change of velocity of the rocket if no other external forces act, with the effective exhaust velocity and the initial and final mass of a rocket or other reaction engine. For any such maneuver or journey involving a sequence of such maneuvers, delta v equals v e lane M zero M F equals I S P G zero lane M zero M F Display style delta v equals v underscore text e lane frac m underscore zero m underscore f equals i underscore text s p g underscore zero lane frac m underscore zero m underscore f, where delta v display style delta v is delta v the maximum change of velocity of the vehicle with no external forces acting m 0 display style m underscore 0 is the initial total mass including propellant also known as wet mass m f display style m underscore f is the final total mass without propellant, also known as dry mass. V E equals I S P G zero displaystyle V underscore text E equals I underscore text S P G underscore zero is the effective exhaust velocity, where I S P displaystyle I underscore text S P is the specific impulse in dimension of time G zero displaystyle G underscore zero is standard gravity lane displaystyle lane is the natural logarithm function. Topic History. The equation is named after Russian scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, Russian Konstantin Cholkovsky, who independently derived it and published it in his 1903 work. The equation had been derived earlier by the British mathematician William Moore in 1810, and later published in a separate book in 1813. The minister William Leach, who was a capable scientist, also independently derived the fundamentals of rocketry in 1861. While the derivation of the rocket equation is a straightforward calculus exercise, Tsiolkovsky is honored as being the first to apply it to the question of whether rockets could achieve speeds necessary for space travel. <laughs> <laughs> derivation most popular derivation Consider the following system In the following derivation, the rocket is taken to mean the rocket and all of its unburned propellant. Newton's second law of motion relates external forces F I displaystyle F underscore I 
to the change in linear momentum of the whole system including rocket and exhaust as follows f i equals lim delta t 0 p 2 minus p 1 delta t Display style sum f underscore i equals lim underscore delta t to zero frac p underscore two p underscore one delta t, where p one display style p underscore one is the momentum of the rocket at time t equals zero. Display style t equals zero. P one equals m plus delta m v. Display style p underscore one equals left m plus delta m right v and p two. Display style p underscore two is the momentum of the rocket and exhausted mass at time t equals delta t. Display style t equals delta t p two equals m v plus delta v plus delta m v e display style p underscore 2 equals m left v plus delta 5 right plus delta m v underscore text e and where with respect to the observer the velocity of the exhaust v E display style v underscore text e in the observer frame is related to the velocity of the exhaust in the rocket frame v e display style v underscore text e by since exhaust velocity is in the negative direction v e equals V minus V E display style V underscore text E equals V V underscore text E solving yields P two minus P one equals M delta V minus v e delta m display style p underscore 2 p underscore 1 equals m delta 5 v underscore text e delta m and using d m equals minus delta m Display style dm equals delta m. Since ejecting a positive delta m, display style delta m results in a decrease in mass. F i equals m d v d t plus v e d m d t display style sum f underscore i equals m frac dv dt plus v underscore text e frac dm dt if there are no external forces then f 
I equals zero Display style sum F underscore I equals zero Conservation of linear momentum and M D V D T equals minus V E D M D T Display style M FRAC DV DT equals V underscore text E FRAC DM DT Assuming V E Display style V underscore text E is constant, this may be integrated to yield Delta V equals V E lane M zero M one Display style delta five equals V underscore text E lane FRAC M underscore zero M underscore one or equivalently M one equals M Zero E minus Delta V V E Display style M underscore one equals M underscore zero E carrot delta five V underscore text E or M zero equals M one E Delta V V E Display style M underscore zero equals M underscore one E carrot delta five V underscore text E or M zero minus M one equals m 1 e delta v v e minus 1 display style m underscore 0 m underscore 1 equals m underscore 1 left e caret delta 5 v underscore text e minus 1 right where M zero display style M underscore zero is the initial total mass including propellant M one display style M underscore one the final total mass and V E display style V underscore text E the velocity of the rocket exhaust with respect to the rocket the specific impulse, or, if measured in time, that multiplied by gravity on Earth acceleration. The value m 0 minus m 1 display style m underscore 0 m underscore 1 is the total mass of propellant expended, and hence M F equals one minus M one M zero equals one minus E minus Delta V V E Display style M underscore F equals one FRAC M underscore one M underscore zero equals one E carrot delta five V underscore text E where M F Display style M underscore F 
is the propellant mass fraction the part of the initial total mass that is spent as working mass delta v display style delta 5 delta v is the integration over time of the magnitude of the acceleration produced by using the rocket engine what would be the actual acceleration if external forces were absent in free space, for the case of acceleration in the direction of the velocity, this is the increase of the speed. In the case of an acceleration in opposite direction deceleration, it is the decrease of the speed. Of course gravity and drag also accelerate the vehicle, and they can add or subtract to the change in velocity experienced by the vehicle. Hence delta v is not usually the actual change in speed or velocity of the vehicle. Topic: <laughs> Special relativity. If special relativity is taken into account, the following equation can be derived for a relativistic rocket with delta v display style delta v again standing for the rocket's final velocity after expelling all its reaction mass and being reduced to a rest mass of m 1 display style m underscore 1 in the inertial frame of reference where the rocket started at rest with the rest mass including fuel being m 0 display style m underscore 0 initially and C display style C standing for the speed of light in a vacuum M 0 M 1 equals 1 plus Delta V C 1 minus delta v c c 2 v e Display style FRAC M underscore zero M underscore one equals left FRAC one plus FRAC delta V C one FRAC delta V C right carrot FRAC C two V underscore text E writing M zero M one Display style FRAC M underscore zero M underscore one as R Display style R A little algebra allows this equation to be rearranged as Delta V C equals R two V E C minus one R two V E C plus one Display style FRAC delta V C equals FRAC R carrot FRAC two V underscore text E C minus one R carrot FRAC two V underscore text E C plus one Then using the identity R two V E C equals exp 2 v e c lane r display style r caret frac 2 v underscore text e c equals exp left frac 2 v underscore text east c lane r right here exp denotes the exponential function see also natural logarithm as well as the power 
identity at logarithmic identities and the identity 10h x equals e 2 x minus 1 e 2 x plus 1 Display style 10 h x equals frac e caret 2 x minus 1 e caret 2 x plus 1. See hyperbolic function. This is equivalent to delta v equals c 10 h v east c lane m Zero M one Display style delta V equals C ten H left FRAC V underscore text east C lane FRAC M underscore zero M underscore one right Topic Other derivations topic impulse based the equation can also be derived from the basic integral of acceleration in the form of force thrust over mass by representing the delta v equation as the following delta v equals t 0 t 1 T M zero minus T delta M D T Display style delta V equals int underscore T zero carrot T one FRAC T M underscore zero T delta M tilde D T where T is thrust M zero display style M underscore zero is the initial wet mass and delta M display style delta M is the initial mass minus the final dry mass and realizing that the integral of a resultant force over time is total impulse, assuming thrust is the only force involved. T zero T one F D T equals J Display style int underscore T zero carrot T one F tilde D T equals J The integral is found to be J Lane M zero minus lane M one delta M display style J tilde frac lane M underscore zero lane M underscore one delta M realizing that impulse over the change in mass is equivalent to force over propellant mass flow rate p which is itself equivalent to exhaust velocity j delta m equals f p equals v e x h Display style FRAC J delta M equals FRAC F P equals V underscore erm EXH. The integral can be equated to delta V equals V East X H lane M zero M one 
Display style delta v equals v underscore erm exh tilde lane left frac m underscore zero m underscore one right. Topic: Acceleration based. Imagine a rocket at rest in space with no forces exerted on it. Newton's first law of motion. From the moment its engine is started, clock set to zero, the rocket expels gas mass at a constant mass flow rate p kilogram per second and at exhaust velocity relative to the rocket v meter per second. This creates a constant force propelling the rocket that is equal to p times v. The mass of fuel the rocket initially has on board is equal to m0 mf. The mass flow rate is defined as the total wet mass of the rocket over the combustion time of the rocket, so it will therefore take a time that is equal to m0 mf, p to burn all this fuel. The rocket is subject to a constant force m times v, but its total weight is decreasing steadily because it is expelling gas. According to Newton's second law of motion, its acceleration at any time t is its propelling force divided by its current mass a equals d v d t equals p v e m zero minus P T display style tilde equals frac DV DT equals frac PV underscore text e m underscore 0 PT since change in velocity is the definite integral of acceleration, integrating the above equation across the time period the rocket fires yields its change in velocity 0 t f i n a l p v e m Zero minus P T D T equals minus V E lane M O minus M O minus M F plus V E lane M zero minus zero equals V E lane M zero minus V E lane m f equals v e lane m 0 m f Display style tilde int underscore zero carrot t underscore final frac pv underscore text e m underscore zero pt tilde dt equals tilde v underscore text e lane m underscore o m underscore o m underscore f plus v underscore text e lane m underscore zero minus zero equals tilde v underscore text e lane m underscore zero V underscore text E lane M underscore F tilde equals tilde V underscore text E lane left FRAC M underscore zero M underscore F right. Topic Terms of the equation Topic Delta V 
Delta V literally change in velocity symbolized as delta v and pronounced delta v as used in spacecraft flight dynamics is a measure of the impulse that is needed to perform a maneuver such as launching from or landing on a planet or moon or an in space orbital maneuver it is a scalar that has the units of speed as used in this context it is not the same as the physical change in velocity of the vehicle Delta V is produced by reaction engines, such as rocket engines and is proportional to the thrust per unit mass, and burn time, and is used to determine the mass of propellant required for the given maneuver through the rocket equation. For multiple maneuvers, delta V sums linearly. For interplanetary missions delta V is often plotted on a porkchop plot which displays the required mission delta V as a function of launch date. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mass fraction. In aerospace engineering, the propellant mass fraction is the portion of a vehicle's mass which does not reach the destination, usually used as a measure of the vehicle's performance. In other words, the propellant mass fraction is the ratio between the propellant mass and the initial mass of the vehicle. In a spacecraft, the destination is usually in orbit, while for aircraft it is their landing location. A higher mass fraction represents less weight in a design. Another related measure is the payload fraction, which is the fraction of initial weight that is payload. <laughs> <laughs> Effective exhaust velocity The effective exhaust velocity is often specified as a specific impulse and they are related to each other by V E equals G zero I SP Display style V underscore text E equals G underscore zero I underscore text SP where I SP Display style I underscore text SP is the specific impulse in seconds v e display style v underscore text e is the specific impulse measured in meter per second which is the same as the effective exhaust velocity measured in meter per second or foot per second if g is in foot per square second g 0 Display style g underscore zero is the standard gravity 9.80665 meters per square second in imperial units 32.174 feet per square second. Topic applicability. The rocket equation captures the essentials of rocket flight physics in a single short equation. It also holds true for rocket-like reaction vehicles whenever the effective exhaust velocity is constant, and can be summed or integrated when the effective exhaust velocity varies. The rocket equation only accounts for the reaction force from the rocket engine, it does not include other forces that may act on a rocket, such as aerodynamic or gravitational forces. As such, when using it to calculate the propellant requirement for launch from or powered descent to a planet with an atmosphere, the effects of these forces must be included in the delta V requirement. See examples below. In what has been called the tyranny of the rocket equation. There is a limit to the amount of payload that the rocket can carry, as higher amounts of propellant increment the overall weight, and thus also increase the fuel consumption. The equation does not apply to non-rocket systems such as aerobraking, gun launches, space elevators, launch loops, tether propulsion or light sails. 
The rocket equation can be applied to orbital maneuvers in order to determine how much propellant is needed to change to a particular new orbit, or to find the new orbit as the result of a particular propellant burn. When applying to orbital maneuvers, one assumes an impulsive maneuver, in which the propellant is discharged and delta V applied instantaneously. This assumption is relatively accurate for short duration burns such as for mid-course corrections and orbital insertion maneuvers. As the burn duration increases, the result is less accurate due to the effect of gravity on the vehicle over the duration of the maneuver. For low thrust, long duration propulsion, such as electric propulsion, more complicated analysis based on the propagation of the spacecraft's state vector and the integration of thrust are used to predict orbital motion. Examples <laughs> 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 Assume an exhaust velocity of 4,500 meters per second, 15,000 feet per second, and a delta v display style delta v of 9,700 meters per second, 32,000 feet per second, Earth to Leo, including delta v display style delta v to overcome gravity and aerodynamic drag single stage to orbit rocket 1 minus e minus 9.7 4.5 display style 1 e caret minus 9.7 4.5 equals 0.884 therefore 88.4% of the initial total mass has to be propellant the remaining 11.6% is for the engines the tank and the payload two stage to orbit suppose that the first stage should provide a delta v display style delta v of 5000 meters per second 16000 feet per second 1 minus e minus 5.0 4.5 display style 1 e caret minus 5.0 4.5 equals 0.671 therefore 67.1% of the initial total mass has to be propellant to the first stage the remaining mass is 32.9% after disposing of the first stage a mass remains equal to this 32.9% minus the mass of the tank and engines of the first stage Assume that this is 8% of the initial total mass, then 24.9% remains. The second stage should provide a delta v display style delta v of 4,700 meters per second, 15,000 feet per second, one minus e minus 4.7 4.5 display style 1 e caret minus 4.745 equals 0.648 therefore 64.8% of the remaining mass has to be propellant which is 16.2% of the original total mass and 8.7% remains for the tank and engines of the second stage the payload, and in the case of a space shuttle, also the orbiter. Thus together 16.7% of the original launch mass is available for all engines, the tanks, and payload. Topic stages equals In the case of sequentially thrusting rocket stages, the equation applies for each stage, where for each stage the initial mass in the equation is the total mass of the rocket after discarding the previous stage, and the final mass in the equation is the total mass of the rocket just before discarding the stage concerned. For each stage the specific impulse may be different. 
For example, if 80% of the mass of a rocket is the fuel of the first stage, and 10% is the dry mass of the first stage, and 10% is the remaining rocket, then delta V equals V e lane 100,000 100 minus 80 equals V e lane 5 equals 1.61 V e. Display style begin aligned delta V and equals V underscore text e lane 100 over 1. 100 to 80 and equals v underscore text e lane 5 and equals 1.61 v underscore text e end aligned with three similar subsequently smaller stages with the same v e display style v underscore text e for each stage we have delta v equals 3 v e lane 5 equals 4.83 v e display style delta v equals 3 v underscore text e lane 5 equals 4.83 v underscore text e and the payload is 10% times 10% times 10% equals 0.1% of the initial mass. A comparable SSTO rocket, also with a 0.1% payload, could have a mass of 11.1% for fuel tanks and engines, and 88.8% .8 for fuel. This would give delta V equals V E Lane one hundred eleven point two equals two point one nine V E Display style delta V equals V underscore text E lane one hundred eleventh point two equals two point one nine V underscore text E if the motor of a new stage is ignited before the previous stage has been discarded and the simultaneously working motors have a different specific impulse as is often the case with solid rocket boosters and a liquid fuel stage, the situation is more complicated. <laughs> Common misconceptions When viewed as a variable mass system, a rocket cannot be directly analyzed with Newton's second law of motion because the law is valid for constant mass systems only. It can cause confusion that the Tsiolkovsky rocket equation looks similar to the relativistic force equation F equals d p d t equals m d v d t plus v d m d t Display style F equals DP, DT equals M, DV, DT plus V, DM, DT using this formula with m t display style m t as the varying mass of the rocket seems to derive Tsiolkovsky rocket equation but this derivation is not correct notice that the effective exhaust velocity v e display style v underscore text e does not even appear in this formula. Topic. See also. Delta V budget. Mass ratio. Oberth effect. Applying delta V in a gravity well increases the final velocity. Relativistic rocket. Reversibility of orbits. Spacecraft propulsion 
variable mass systems working mass <laughs>